Welcome to Catholic Mom Mindset, a daily show where you learn to walk closely with the Holy Spirit so you can live the life God is calling you to. I'm your host, Sterling Jaquith. Let us begin. Alert, you can't get your husband to do anything. Okay, can't get your husband to stop yelling at the kids. Can't get your husband to work more around the house, clean more, be better at his job take care of his body, pray more. You just can't get your husband to do anything. Okay, 12 years into my marriage, haven't figured that out yet. And what I want to point out is that there are two huge levels of pridefulness about this. One, that you think you know what your husband needs to do. I'm a life coach, so I'm trained to coach my clients. And one of the things that they teach us is we do not know what our clients need to do. And it's interesting because it was a secular school that trained me, but I love this concept. And so they would say, it's your job to just ask really powerful questions to your clients so that they kind of pull the truth out of themselves and they figure out what they need to do. But I would say my job is to connect my client with the Holy Spirit and that the Holy Spirit lives inside of them and that's how they know what to do. You can know what you need to do. You cannot know what your husband needs to do. You might guess, might be a good guess, and you might be right, but it is just a guess. You don't know what he needs to do. That is between him and God. And then the second level of pridefulness is that you think you're the one to make him do it. And listen, I'm being strong about this because I coach all these Catholic moms and they're like, how do I get my husband to blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you don't. But what do you need to do to improve your life, to grow in virtue? Whatever it is that you want your husband to do, there will be a mirror version of that for you. So let's say he's yelling at the kids and he's not regulating his emotions. He's just allowing his temper to flare up and to be like an angry bear dad. Well, how are you doing that? How are you not regulating your emotions and having disproportionate or inappropriate reactions to the people around you, including your husband and your kids? All of us are doing that. And so whenever I see something that I want my husband to do, I try to think, oh, where is my work that's related to that? So if I think he doesn't compliment me, I'll pretty quickly realize I don't compliment me enough. Or if I think he doesn't express his gratitude, he's not grateful enough for what I do, then I realize two things, actually. One, I probably am not grateful for what I do. If you're like, oh, I just wish he would appreciate how hard I work as a mom and and how hard it is to clean the house, right? My guess is you probably don't value what you're doing. You probably are spending all day telling yourself, oh, you're blowing it with the kids and you're terrible at taking care of the house you don't express gratitude to yourself. And then the second thing I notice, particularly around the gratitude thing, is that I don't express my gratitude to my husband. So when I notice that I'm kind of feeling hungry for gratitude, which is just another form of validation, by the way, that I'm not giving that to him. And so you can't make your husband do anything. And you don't want to either. You wouldn't like that. You wouldn't like having a husband where you told him what to do all the time and he did it. That would be so unattractive. So I want you just to immediately turn it around and go, oh, what is the giant plank in my own eye that I could be working on? Now, there are things that we can do, I think, that result in husbands yelling less at the kids. And I just taught an entire workshop on that called How to Get Your Husband to Stop Yelling at Your Kids. And I talk about how women can be the peace center of their homes, but it's going to be really hard for you to be the peace center of your home if you're wagging your finger at your husband and being like, that guy's terrible. He's a jerk. He isn't taking care of things. Right? That's not going to result in a holy level of peace for you. It will not be attractive. Bitterness, anger, frustration. And what will happen is, you know, people don't want to hang out with someone who's bitter and angry and frustrated. So you will isolate yourself in those feelings. Now, I'm not saying 
to ignore your feelings and to never allow yourself to feel things. It's important that we feel our feelings, but then we want to come back to peace and problem solve from peace. I'm also not saying that we want to be a doormat and let our husbands just treat us however and do everything that he says. But a lot of you spend a lot of time thinking about what he needs to do instead of just getting calm and connecting with the Lord and working on your own stuff. And so if you want to get the replay of this workshop, just get on our email list. When you sign up for our email list, I send out links to the workshops that I've done. If you're already on our email list, you already got it. So go dig it up. But it was really powerful. Women were like, yeah, oh, I really needed to hear that. That's exactly me. I gave a ton of thoughts, examples of thoughts that we have about the husband that aren't serving us, and then some example thoughts that we can use instead that were really, really powerful. And, you know, I'm just on a mission to help women have more peace in their homes. I just think Catholic moms can change the world. I just really believe that. And it starts at home. But we're so overwhelmed. We're we're such victims about things that we're just kind of looking outside of us for all the answers instead of going in and listening to the Holy Spirit and letting the Holy Spirit guide what needs to happen. So I hope that's helpful. I hope you can think about where is your work? What is God calling you to do? Where is he asking you to grow today? Thank you so much for listening and have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Catholic Mom Mindset. To learn more about growing closer to the Holy Spirit, check out our free resources at madeforgreatness.co. Thank you so much for listening and have a blessed day.